education is 24-7, 365. It never stops. Remember, you are in charge of your life. Well, first I would say that the environment, the environment is really more dynamic than, than ever before. I think that the buildings, the geography, the layout of the, uh, of the floors and the classrooms, and I do love the openness of the university, right? Like the ground floor. I love seeing the students doing their, their work and all that. So it's, it's a lot more vitality. I had a lot more dynamism and um, it's infectious. I mean, when I come on campus, I'm like, let's go. All right, I'm ready to go. I'll teach you, you teach me. What has impressed me about the Van Lang student has been the respect that they show to the professor. Respect means I want to hear you. Tell me the information. Share with me the wisdom. They are really interested in learning. And for a teacher, there's nothing better than meeting students who want to learn. And so here, this is a fountain of learning and teaching, and I loved it. I think the key to being a good teacher is to admit what you don't know, to admit your ignorance. Most of the time, I think I'm like the dumbest person in the room. And I've always believed that we must listen to young people because you are immersed in the world. When you're a teacher, sometimes you're distant. You know, like my class, my office, but you are living the daily life. And so for me, I can learn as much from you as you can learn from me. I have been involved in experiential technology Wow, for about 25, 30 years. With interactive media, with creative technology, everyone has the opportunity to become a creator. You know, what is the defining moment in my life? When I was in elementary school, we were asked to do, to write stories. So I wrote a story and they asked me to get up in front of the class and deliver the story. And when I was finished, the class applauded. And I was like, wow, I just told a story that they liked, that they applauded, and I discovered that I can have impact. I can have meaning. I can have connection with others. And that started me on the journey of being an actor, becoming an actor, became a director, then became a teacher, and 50 years later, here I am. I felt truly inspired. His passion and energy pushed me to think beyond my conventional boundaries. He created an environment where creativity felt like it was limitless. It was a privilege to uh, learn from someone with such a great vision. My time spending with Professor Dodo Meninelli was short but very sweet. During the time I've learned a lot of things, a lot of knowledge and insights about the gaming industry. And for me, I had a very great time with him. He was funny, kind, and overall I would say that I enjoy the time that I spent with him. My advice to young people today, because you have, it's a different world than mine, okay? My world, if I wanted to learn something, I had to go to the encyclopedia. I had to go to the books. Knowledge now is on your phone. Knowledge now is a click away. Explore, discover, knock, and it will be opened for you. So learning for your generation is 24 seven. You can learn as much, if not more, outside the classroom than inside the classroom. So take advantage of it. The message that I want to send him would be a pretty personal one. Is that, I would say this, please remember me. Because the next time that you come back to Vietnam, 
I will surely show you a game that you can play and you can enjoy and that is a promise that I give to you and also to myself as a way for me to push on. So yeah, that, that is the message that I want to give him.